It is now winter of 1940. We follow the special winter term rules, which consist of strategic warfare, replacements, and diplomacy. Strategic warfare is putting Axis subs or fleets into the America box and then rolling on the strategic warfare uh, table. If there are any American or enemy fleets in the American box, you'll add two to the die roll. So a six could become a attacker loses one unit, or if you roll a five, then it's an exchange. Four, two, three, four. About a 60% or 50%, 60% chance of scoring a, let's see, 50% chance of scoring a replacement loss on your opponent, or, and then about a 16% chance of a miss, and then you move on up into detrimental effects on the player conducting the strategic warfare attack. Um, since I only have one subunit in the America box, and the Americans have a fleet in that box, I'm not going to risk. Uh, I'm not going to risk using that subunit on strategic warfare this turn. Uh, there's no strategic bombing because the enemy has no air units within range of my, a capital of mine. So we will go to the alliance table, which is perhaps uh, the weakest, the weakest point of the game that I can find at the moment, since it's completely random, and uh, it could come up with just all sorts of results. I would like to see the table more geared towards each alliance. The Anglo, Britain, Germany, and Italy, and Russia each have their own separate tables, which could combine some results from the other tables, but would also um, disallow some uh, results which historically would make no sense. But anyway, the Germans from the uh, Game Turn Record track get one replacement and one ally. So we are going to roll for the ally. Well, let's see. That's the plum. Let's go ahead and do the replacement. Up there, far, far away, we have uh, the eliminated German unit, which participated in the attack on Poland. Um, replacements have to go in the capital, pretty much, of the nation that is taking the replacement. So I'm sticking it in Berlin. You can overstack, but you must take care of that at the first available opportunity. So, with that out of the way, we have the diplomacy die roll. Which is down here under the alliances. <coughs> well, on the alliances table. So I'm going to go ahead and roll a die. And we'll see what we get. There should be some no effects on there too, um, as if your, ally, uh, your diplomacy failed. I think I will probably go ahead and redo that table between now and the next video. Uh, maybe make up one for each country, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to roll a die. And we get a five. So Spain joins the Axis. And I'm not sure if I'll have enough blank counters for that, but let's see. <clears throat> Sweden, Spain, and Romania, uh, when they are invaded or given as a diplomacy action, they get two three fours each. Three fours each. Three four eaches. Eaches. Well, that doesn't sound correct either. So, let's go over here. Spain. Sorry for the glare, but... That's just going to have to be. All right, so I have two units up here from Poland, and we'll place them in Madrid. Um, I think there should also be 
color-coded uh, neutrals because now you're not going to be able to really tell that these are axis units. I guess I'll make a note on some paper. So Spain joins the axis. Franco decided that <clears throat> with the help that the uh, Germans gave them and the Italians gave them that he would repay his debt to Hitler, I suppose. So we'll see what happens there. And now we have the Allied portion of the turn. The Allies, the UK gets one replacement point, but they have not lost any, so that will not come into effect. And the Russians will get one replacement point, but they have not lost any units either. So that will take us, in not the correct order, the... They have no strategic warfare options at this time. They have replacements, which I can't do, so I guess that comes down to diplomacy. Oh no, they don't get diplomacy, that would say ally. So that is gonna pretty much be the end of winter of 1940. From the last video, I did, did a little bit of rearranging on the French sub. I decided I'd put it, or French sub, French fleet, Decided I'd stick it right here, kind of bottling in the Italian fleet there. Not that I think it'll have much effect. I'm hoping France falls uh, before that, but if not, they have at least uh, a chance of blockading the Italians from leaving their base at Toronto. So anyway, that's it for the winter 1940 turn. We will be coming up on the spring. 1940 turn next in which it looks like uh, several units or several nations will get some reinforcements all right